George Eastman democratized photography. He could recognize global markets and find ways to deliver products to those markets. In the early days of photography, creating an image was a complicated process. In 1888, he created the Kodak camera, a camera holding 100 images on paper film, which was sent to Rochester for processing. This process became very popular for Kodak. The introduction of the Kodak camera sparked an interest in amateur photography. Here's how you can relive a good time over and over again. See it. It was no longer a practice closely held by professionals. The smartest way to take color slides is with a stylish Kodak. From capturing images of a Christmas morning to documenting toppled governments. George Eastman was a man ahead of his time. A lot of people who had ideas, people who were inventors or whatever, were like tinkering in a garage type of thing, right? And they would take those things to companies and be like, hey, can you use this? So he realized that he didn't want the future of his businesses to be in the hands of somebody else and it could possibly go somewhere else. I was like one of the first people to really latch on to the idea that companies needed their own dedicated research and development, right? So that it was, it was an expense. It wasn't gonna, you know, wasn't necessarily gonna make money, but it was gonna help develop the future. Just aim, focus, snap. It's as easy as that. And remember, when your camera is made by Kodak, you know it's good. When the film comes off the line, it's coming off on giant rolls. These rolls are, they're at least 12,000 feet. We put it in a light tight box. The light tight box we call a casket. And then it's trucked down the route that we're gonna take all the way to the finishing plant. There's three main steps to the manufacturing here. There's base, film base. So we call it S-Star. It's our version of polyester base. It goes through uh, basically a heating and stretching process. And, and gets pulled out to the appropriate, uh, appropriate widths for our machines. So it gets cut first before it would be perforated. So what happens is we bring in the wide roll from sensitizing, where they put all the emulsion running through this, and then uh, we wrap it up. Just 26.75 or less than three dollars down. The new Pony is just one of many outstanding new 35 millimeter cameras by Kodak. You can see them demonstrated this week, wherever you see this sign. And that's, that's the main film coating. All of Kodak film in the world. Those rolls then end up here in this, in this factory. The film coating and everything happens here. Then it's gonna go over to film finishing. These people have been able to maintain a ridiculously high quality level, a high safety record. Hats off to them. Film finishing is responsible for uh, cutting it down to whatever size it needs to be, perforating it if it needs to be, doing any special stuff, 
and then getting it into a package and getting it out the door to everybody. You know, with everything that's been going on around Kodak and, you know, we, we face it head on. And yeah, things have been in decline, things have been in change. So there's lots of change, right? A photograph is taken four billion times a day. It seems the process of making a photograph feels less impactful. Photos are digitally shared with family and friends on the internet. Now, a necessity for our everyday lives, cameras are built into mobile phones. Photography has once again evolved. It would seem that film photography would fade away. However, young photographers growing up only knowing digital are looking for a different way to experience in taking a photograph. The act of loading a roll of film the sound of the gears in the camera cranking to advance to the next frame, and physically creating a chemical reaction with light onto a physical medium. It taps into some unexplainable emotion. We sense satisfaction in crafting a photograph, not merely taking one.